Okay, welcome back. <coughs> Hello, good evening, everyone. Alice, Julie, uh, any? Oh, hey, Margaret, Rowan, Alice, Deborah, then Angie. Any? Any? Can you get here? <laughs> Are we guys looking over at this? Can you guys hear, right? Okay. How about you guys? Comfortable? But it's okay? You guys need the speaker if you want me to need a microphone. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. You can hear Tamsha's voice most than that. That's more important. <clears throat> okay. Six months ago, your meditation come up, buddy. Six months? Oh, no. We plan to six weeks. Then we come longer, longer, longer. I think we're going to do nine for uh, the nine levels. We're going to do nine levels. Nine levels. <laughs> nine weeks with what? And the baby takes a long time. The whole and the realization come up, buddy. Anyone? How are you, did? Realization, I have a long way to go. How about you? Mr. Luck. Both levels. They're not too much. Anyway. Thank you. And they, okay. Taka Zangado, can they? And they, the Shinne, come down the same little tackle at the Nishinne, come down the Colonado. The Shinne, 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 <clears throat> and so last last time we talked about, or as before that, right, we talked about the uh, the karma binding and how to achieve karma binding through the, the method of the nine stages, and uh, and then after that, you know, uh, then we talked about uh, the special insight. So if we don't have that stable mind or karma binding. Then whatever practice we attempt to do, you know, it's really difficult to get any results. So his his honest the Lama also mentioned, you know, that um the reason why we are not able to you know, <clears throat> get the result from our practice is because of not having the stable mind, you know, the calm binding. So it's because of that calm binding that we are not able to achieve the results. Oh, and then uh, the calm abiding is also a common practice uh, for uh, Buddhists and non-Buddhists. And on top of that, um, you know, the, the calm abiding you know, we used in Buddhism is you know, to uh, gain the realization uh, into insight. Okay. And um, so now we're going to meditate on karma binding for a little while. Uh, you can take any object for the karma binding. You can take your own body, or mind, or feeling. Uh, you can achieve karma binding. Uh, through any kind of objects. Okay. 
it is to distinguish So as a Buddhist, you know, we are advised and recommended you know, to uh, take the object of the karma binding, uh, a Buddha statue. Statue of a Buddha as an object for the Kalubari meditation. And uh, <clears throat> the purpose for this, that, you know, uh, for doing that is because if we meditate, you know, if we visualize Buddha statue, then that uh, just by doing that, just by visualizing that, it creates merit and purifies the negativities and so forth. So therefore, there is a great benefit you know, in taking the Buddha statue as an object. Of your <clears throat> so if you are meditating for a longer period of time, then it is good you know, to adopt you know, the, the seven postures of the Chakra. When you're sitting on a cushion, the, the level of you know, the cushion and it has to be a little bit higher on the back. And uh, then in the front. So you, you know that, right? The seven portions of the brain channel would have to come to all of that, right? That's the Gomja Shata, Shadan take Gomi Ramoja at the Tani, Chanaz of Kadi, Tok Devana. Tap Kadi Devana. So that's, that's for the long period of time, long period of time, uh, <coughs> over a long period of time. You, the meditation. Otherwise, you know, if you just do it for a short time, whichever position you feel comfortable, you can sit in that position. So and then uh, the Buddha statue that visualized should be at the level of your forehead, not too high. If you visualize too high, you might not be able to say not too low, but at the level of your forehead. <clears throat> and you don't have to go into detail you know, about the statue, um, like the, the face is like this, the arm is like this, the leg is like this. No, you don't have to think about like that. You just think statue in general, just the statue of the Buddha in general, and just you know put your mind or keep your mind on that. And so you know you have to have the clarity and uh, <clears throat> and, uh, and the stability. And so uh, you have to uh, have the the clear vision of the um, <clears throat> uh, the mind. I mean the clear vision of the the object you know, of the visualization. And you know you have to you know uh, set your mind uh, stably you know, on that object. So these two are very important. <laughs> the biggest obstacle you know, that prevents one from being able to do that. Uh, is the the <clears throat> um, uh, the uh, what's it, the, uh, the mental thinking and uh, mental wandering? She was at the talk and come go through the watching. No touch on the water, tell she won't ever dig and the message was whatever. So the mental uh, <coughs> thinking uh, or, uh, or the liturgy, you know, is um, when, when you start to meditate, then you become you know, tired or feel lazy and then you, you know. She's like falling asleep, and then your your object you lose the object, and the object becomes unclear. And then uh, a mental wandering uh, is the mind that goes over on, on, all over the place, like you know, so not able to stay in one object, but you know, goes in different objects or think about different other other different other things rather than thinking about the object. So um, uh, the mental wandering or, or the excitement, uh, if you think, uh, if you if you just you know, focus your mind on that, on the other, then don't think about that. No, my mind is wandering. Don't even think like that. Just, you know, think about the object. And if you think about the object, then the, my, uh, the excitement will go away. Uh, but if you say, I'm going to try to stop that, then you will not be able to stop. But just think about this, and that will be automatically stopped. So just like, like you know, the construction, the, the road construction people, you know, the constructors, road, con road constructors, 
Uh, they're working on the road. Right? They're working on the road and they see the cars passing by. And they're, not, they're not paying attention to that. They only pay attention you know, to their job. <laughs> so of course they have all the, you know, the security measures already planned, right? So therefore they don't have to worry. Otherwise, you never know, you know, when you're walking on the roadside, there's all the cars coming by or going by. They might come to you or hit on you, hit to you, you know. So that there's danger like that, but they don't have, they don't worry about that. They are not thinking about that, they're just thinking about the job they have. So um, you have to notice, you have to notice uh, um, that uh, these uh, mental thinking and mental wondering or excitement and are coming, are you know, kind of manifesting. You have to notice that, and then you know when you notice that, you don't, you don't have to like say, "Oh, this is you know, happening." You don't have to go to your mind there, but when that happens, but you then pay more attention you know, to the object that you are focusing on. And then that will go away by itself. And uh, <clears throat> so the, the, the antidote you know, for the, uh, the, the mental thinking and, and the excitement uh, is, um, uh, <clears throat> you know, is the mindfulness and introspection. Oh, yeah, okay. That's all. 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 That's and so having this clarity and the stability you know, of the object um, you know, for a longer period of time, uh, longer period of time, but you know, usually they say like for as long as you want without any effort effortlessly you know, as long as you want if you can focus your mind there and then then you you know then you naturally feel this uh, um, uh, ecstasy or the the, the, the plants you know, like feeling of joy right? it's just sitting there and you feel so happy you know, and joy like that so when you have that pliancy you know on, on top of being able to focus on the object have the clarity and stability of the object uh, without any effort for as long as one wants and so when you have that, and then through that, then you generate this uh, plancy or the bliss in your body and the mind, then that's when you have achieved the karma body. Okay. Okay, now we meditation. Okay. Do the med with the image in front of you. Just oh you're not you can um, meditation any Buddhas. Whatever you do, you see your home. You don't have to exactly Buddha Shajamani. But Buddha Shajamani is a very simple. Very easy, everyone also remember that, okay? Try to visualization, to close your eyes, don't pay attention to others. The kids are running, walking, they call, no pay attention there, okay? Try to do your meditation as, as much as you can. You know, focus and tight and, okay?
the Gomda Chin, Taisuzu, Seven Minutes, you go to us. That's one, one way of meditating um, by taking the object as the statue, and now you can try to meditate uh, um, by taking the uh, taking one's mind as object of karma body. Okay, same but change the object. I want to check which one is more easy for you or more something to connect with us. Okay. Okay. What do you get? Which one better? Second one. You're, 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 you always want something different than others. <laughs> How about you? Uh, the first one was easier. Jackie? Yeah. The oh. first one was easier. How about Rika? Concentration, yes. First one. Angie, how about you? Oh, what's your name? Sorry, I've always forgot. L or L. Uh, okay, I need to know L. L. How about you? First one. How about Mohan? How are you? First one. How are you? Second one, by a lot. What's it hard? It's funny, the first one felt a little more familiar, but the second one is like, yeah, you're chasing after every little thing. That's very interesting. How about you guys? Yeah, Margaret. Okay, Les. First, one. first one easier for, easier for me. Margaret, mm -hmm. Garen, and any, any? Unless you, you're very really dark, where are you? Same for me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, anyway, like that true meditation, okay? That ocean and that religion and also that come to the journey, only listen, she jumped with the other side, the Kanji, Namjudo, Mandava, lead on simply by the tour. Number Shajim are gonna dig it on your donation, they come, she ended up good. And so anyway, I'm meditating in that way, uh, when you develop that um, <clears throat> uh, pliancy, uh, oh, well. you know, physical and yeah, mental pliancy, um, <clears throat> um, uh, then you have developed you know, the, uh, the karma body. I'm going to Okay, then what? What do you do? You know, 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 you you know, 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 or rather, use that to, to meditate on the special insight. So once you have achieved the karma binding uh, through one object, then you can, once you have achieved the karma binding, then you can shift to any kind of object. It will be easy, easily uh, you know, uh, be able to focus on that object. Okay. 
Nguyên thật khẩn chế vật chế này tên đi chế tập chế Chế vật chế chế tập chế Chế bị xí bạc thế nào gồm ngô ngô kati bàn rớt bài ná Lão tổng sẽ chẳng lộ And so uh, when you uh, use the, you know, <coughs> the karma writing, the two meditate on the special insight. So your mind is very focused on that object, right? So, but now, you know, you're uh, analyzing about the object, uh, whether it's existing or not, whether it's existing or not, like that. So it's analyzing about the object. So now you're able to um, you know, focus the mind on that object so you can analyze it even better. Right? So, so, so <coughs> when, you, when you are able to you know, analyze, you know, uh, Um, uh, stably it like that, then you have achieved the cause of 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 the the very mind you know, that's analyzing about the object, When that analysis you know, can, uh, can turn into a meditation, and that's when you have achieved the special insight. Okay. Be, be quiet, okay? Understand? Be, be quiet. Okay? Two, ten, 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 So it's like um, <clears throat> the, the, the water that very turns into, that itself turns into ice. It's not like, and it's the process. Right? So first it's um, you know, warm water and then it becomes colder and colder and then it turns into ice. It's not like, you know, there's a water separate and then ice separate. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> And so, like first, you achieve karma binding, and then with that karma binding, you analyze the object, right? So you keep on analyzing, analyzing, and then analyzing that itself, the analysis itself turns into meditation. Mm. So when that turns, so it doesn't, it's not like separate, but that very process, you know, becomes meditation. Then that's the karma, that's the special insight. <laughs> And so uh, then analyzing and analysis, analysis, analyzing is, uh, what, is, what are you analy analyzing on, right? So any kind of object. So now here we, in, in the teaching, you know, on the special insight, analyzing on the, on the aggregate and uh, on the self, and then analyzing on the phenomena. Sorry. ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっ
You want the candle? Candle. You get candle over here. You can get key to that. People do that in letter. If you don't get key, then people can do that. That's my fellow country. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's not so okay. Just give them the key then. You know the key? Do you know key? The lighthouse key? No, you don't find it. Yeah, you don't find it. It's okay. No, I don't. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you don't find it. It's okay. I forgot. You'll not be able to find it. Yeah, you know, I better find it. He's not here? Okay. Is the doors closed? Oh, he went somewhere. Okay. Check that number. Check that. Check that. Do you buy it? That the time matter. Remember that matter. You go to check. Then you check. 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 What the number of that? Same or same or some number. Some do. Just some not that. That the check. Then you go. Some not that. No check. No be. Go move. Go. Then do I na? Then check that. You don't miss. Check. And there. Check up. Some not that. Check what that. So that's that's how you analyze, right? So analyzing whether it exists or not, whether it exists you know, truly or not, right? It doesn't exist truly. Then you know, why doesn't it exist truly like that? It doesn't truly exist as one. It doesn't exist truly as you know many and so forth like that. You know. So then you analyze, 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 and then you come to the conclusion that it doesn't exist at all, you know, truly at all. And then you put your mind on that, right? So that's when the the analysis turns into meditation. Then it's like you have to come to the conclusion that yes, it is like that. Then you keep your mind on that. And that's the special insight. So another example would be like the, the, the awake mind turns into a sleep. You know? So it's, it's a very mind that turns into a sleep. It's not a separate mind. Okay, like that, okay? Touch it, then also cut a shine, come, tell him to go to Gonta, then also to buy him a moon, you know, so yeah, we have we have already done many meditations right on the karma binding and then also did on the, 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 the uh, special insight and you know, talked about a lot about the emptiness right and so we went through all this uh, you know, discussions and all the, everything right okay any questions one right you probably nobody ever asked this but like you know how you know like so if you're doing the meditation for years you're being conditioned what to expect right so how do you know when you have an experience of emptiness it's real and not just another form of conditioning that you know you force yourself to have that experience you know what i'm saying <laughs> ま、と、とも、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、
And that is because you are imagining it, right? And now, you know, later than you, one day you go to my house and you just sit there. You don't have to imagine it. You don't have to force to imagine yourself right there, the, the, the place. You just see it very clearly. And so when you have realized emptiness, it's like that. So you feel like that. But, you know, I was like, just joking, you know, like, if you if you have a doubt that you have realized emptiness or not, that means you have not realized it. <laughs> <laughs> if you have realized it, then you will know it, you know. Yeah. It's just, a, it's a big thing, you know. Of course you will know it. You know? <laughs> it's like, you know, if you, if you bang your head on the, on the, on the pillar, you know, you will know, right? You feel the pain. It's so obvious, like that. So like uh, the livelihood of the nomads, do you know? Have you, have you experienced the livelihood of the nomads? No. 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 Well, you can imagine, right? If somebody were to explain to you, you can imagine, right? And then, but you know, when you go there, actually, and, and live with the nomads for some time, then you will know, oh, so this is how they live. And then you will know it. Exactly. Okay, but I'm just true. If you tell them, maybe I've got emptiness, maybe not, that's your thing or not that. <laughs> <This is true. laughs> but you know, he's only told me one time. He told me, he's not just me, he talked publicly. And so he told me that he was going to be a good person. His Holiness mentioned, you know, like uh, when he wakes up in the morning and then he goes out, then he sees all these things, right? And he's sitting and then he says, although they think these things appear to me, and then they think that these things appear to me, but in the, in the back of his mind, He's thinking that none of this exists truly. You know, then the, the mind thinking that this none of this exists truly, like it appears to me. You know, so that's very strong in the back of his mind. That that's kind of mind, the back, you know, the, the another mind that thinks that, you know, very like usually we have to like say, okay, so yes, it appears to me, but it doesn't exist like it appears to me. We have to think like that, right? But his own has said, you know, to, to him, he didn't have to fall like that. But, in the in the back of his mind, he's like he's thinking that oh, but it doesn't exist to that all. It doesn't exist to that all. So that means you know you are very close to uh, kind of realizing emptiness or have a very strong understanding of emptiness. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Kishan. So, but even at that point, right of of um, the union of combating special insight, you just generated the 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 path of preparation. So it's still conceptual. Right? Oh yes, and that's what it is. Yeah, no, you have you don't have a drug realization yet. Yeah, so you still got, yeah. Yeah, but you are you are very certain, you know, that that's how it is. So through your analysis, you can come to the conclusion that this is how it is. Yes. And then on the suppose so then on the on the the, the, the super mundane level of the, the path of preparation. So you go into meditative equipoise and that's it's that special insight is the object, right? Mm -hmm. And then, and then it becomes direct, and you generate the path of seeing in yeah. that one session. So it's the same. So you just keep analyzing. And like <laughs> so it, it is the, the, the very mind that, that is focusing on the emptiness, right? So it's, it's focusing on emptiness and on, it's the object is the emptiness, right? Mm -hmm. So you're meditating on emptiness. Meditating on, so, so you have the understanding, you have the, um, the, the realization of emptiness in the manner of miniature reality. You have that. And then with that, with that understanding, you keep on meditating, keep on meditating. And in that very session of meditation, when you come to realize, when you realize emptiness directly, and then you turn into the part of seeing. 
And so then, uh, so then, the, then, then, so the moment you achieve the, the the part of seeing, the first part of seeing there you achieve, you know, is the uninterrupted part of part of seeing. And then through that, with the uninterrupted part of part of seeing, you um, uh, <clears throat> you apply the antidote you know, to that delusion, to that um, the, uh, to um, the, uh, the, to the delusion of that context. You know, so there's many level of delusion. So the context, the delusion of that context, like, to be abandoned at that time. So when you have abandoned that, then you achieve the thoroughly liberated path, you know, of the path of seeing. So these three are in one session. So the the, the supramundane path of preparation, and then the, the uninterrupted path of path of seeing, uninterrupted path of the path of seeing, and then the, the thoroughly thorough liberated path of the path of seeing. These three are in one session. Then the, the moment you achieve the thoroughly liberated path of the path of seeing. And that's when you have achieved the cessation. And so now that depends, that's also dependent, right? So it depends on abandoning of the delusion of that context. Okay. In one session? Yeah, all we'll go one session. In one session, yeah. You know, sleep, you know, wake up. They're going very, you know, very, too, very fast. Is it feasible to attain that? Just purely following the Mahayana path in one lifetime, or do you have to rely on the Vajrayana to achieve that in one lifetime? Well, the 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 どうじてもね、とどじてはたどじてはてじれじさでもげんごつわんでてじたんじょいけしゃんばれ。こんにゃべやんとんぼうちでこれてじとぶせんもげんごつねてじとんどけしゃんばれんがんとさまてじとぶ
analytical cessation is the cessation of uh, afflictive uh, obscuration. <coughs> So, I mean, there are many different levels of the delusions. So, of course, that's a cessation of delusion, but not all kinds of so all kind of delusion only when you achieve the liberation and so in, the, in the path of normal learning. So, but before that, there's so many levels of delusions that you have to abandon. So in, in short, we have this intellectual delusion and innate delusion. So there are two kinds, right? So the intellectual delusions you know, is abandoned during the path of, uh, path of seeing. So even the, in the intellectual you know, path of delusion, there are, many different, you know, there are many different kinds of intellectual you know, um, uh, delusions. And so... So the intellectual delusion abandoned at that time, and that's why I said it, in that, of that context, uh, at that time, you know, so you achieve the situation of abandoning the delusion of that time. So, yeah. But there's so many delusions to open. So each time you abandon kind of delusion, then you achieve the situation of that. And then, can I ask more question? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that arhat can achieve that too. That's that cessation of have to see. That's, that's arhat's liberation. So arhat is later, you know, after the path of noble learning. So before that is the arya. So arya and arhat. Arya is the superior being. So when you have achieved the path of seeing, then you become a superior being. You know, you being you become arya. And the arhat is the the four destroyer. We call it four destroyer, uh, who have destroyed all the four or the delusion. So that's uh, uh, the, at the end. You know, so then you have to achieve liberation. Well, I just want to make a clarification. When you say intellectual, you mean intellectually acquired, right? That's intellectually acquired, yes, yes, yes. Okay. And one more question is, so when they get rid of the path of seeing, when they get rid of the obscure... The, the delusion, delusion yeah. The African delusion. Is that when the... the the nature of body arise, or that's the later. No, yeah. that's, that's 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 when you achieve that. Yeah, yeah. And then, and the even though it's a true cessation. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just one example. Yeah, one example. Yeah. Of, I, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the inert you know, delusions are more difficult to you know, to to, uh, to, uh, to abandon. So like, just like you know, when you did the cleaning, you just clean the, the dirt that you can see, right? You just clean. But there are many dirt you know, that you can't see, and they're still there. So you have when you oh, do yes, the detail. To, yeah, so yeah, yeah. so there's an inner delusion are more difficult to see and uh, more difficult to abandon. So and the path of seeing, you're only only abandoning the the the, uh, the intellectual. Know, the delusion, which is <clears throat> more gross and easier to abandon, easier to abandon, okay. not easier, but easier to abandon. <laughs> so, in it one, so yeah, in so. one is, in other words, like um, uh, imprints or latency, that's like all the yeah, same. Thank you, Dina. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to so the intellectually acquired, you know, it's like, you know, through your through your understanding or through your belief, you know, that this is how it is, like that. You know, so, but it's not right; it's wrong. But because of your belief, you think it that way. You know? so, so, so that is a delusion, and that's intellectually an intellectually acquired delusion. So when you 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 um, um, get rid of intellectual um, uh, delusion. Delusion. You're not getting rid of the seed of the. Not, not the seed. Not yeah. the seed. Yeah. And then Achala. even subtle yeah. ones. Subtle, the panga Yeah. And then there's even subtle ones. Yeah. 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 Okay. But if we, yeah. we study this karma uh, to salam huma pachit that become more marwa. So yeah, I mean it's more detailed. Uh, there's more detailed explanation about that you know, in the path and grounds. Uh, Study. So that's not seen. Yeah. Okay. Any question? Angie?
you are thinking of? What are you thinking of? I just read on some people saying that kind of like learning athletes is from trying to have So babies will not be able to meditate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not the, even for us not. <laughs> the babies are very you know, gentle. They don't have the strong grasp, grasping, strong attachment. They just went out. They just they are very natural. Just they're looking for eat, sleep. They don't get any food. They cry, and they don't get, in time to go bathroom. They cry. They don't have any sun. Then we have more grow, grow baby. Ups. I want this, I want all oh, this, my family, my friend, my friend, my car, my car, my house, you know, that we have good, bigger, bigger, bigger. Baby is really natural. So yeah, that, that's why many children, there are many, many people, you know, when they're a child, they can remember their uh, past lives. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Sure, I have questions. Oh, okay, that's good, yeah. Uh, Geshe-la. So I just want some clarification. So intellectual intellectual um, defilements are not, they're like wrong views. They're not delusions like anger and and uh, pride, right? They're just wrong view, like thinking that karma doesn't exist or that kind of thing. No, the, 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 the intellectual delusion can include uh, the angers and attachment as well. So, so, you know, because of belief or because of some reasoning, some kind of you know, reasoning, you, you, you say, okay, this is like this. It should be like this. When it's not like that, then you can get angry. You know? So that's because of based on reason. And because of you know, because of you know, because you have some reason to think like this, it's like that. And when it's not like that, then you become angry. You can get you know, so you can have anger like that. But that doesn't if you remove the intellectual delusion, you still have those those uh mental afflictions, those delu those that kind of delusions and what, what we call it, emotions. Yes, you, you have abandoned the intellectual delusion. When you have abandoned the intellectual delusion, then you don't get the you know you don't get it back. And in at that level, in the part of seeing when you have abandoned the intellectual delusion, then you don't you don't, that doesn't come back. But you still have the innate delusion that you abandon. So it's not that strong. You know? it's not uh, very gross or strong like that. But it's still in, in our mind, so we still have to get rid of that. Okay. So then an arhat is like a particular it's not arhat is not a Buddha. It's something that's um completed the path of the five stages of the path um for particular Buddhas and Shravakas, right? It's not a uh, on the Mahayana path. Arhat? Yeah, so you can say arhat, the hero's arhat, the sotagara's arhat, and you can say Mahayana Arhat also. So more Mahayana uh, Arhat is the Buddha. Bodhisattva Arhat. Excuse me? Bodhisattva Arhat is the Buddha like that. You know? So they, uh, Bodhisattva Arhat is the Buddha. Mahayana Arhat is the Buddha. Yeah, I'm, I'm not hearing. Can you can you say that again? The Mahayana Arhat is the Buddha. And, uh, and then the hero's Arhat, the sort of okay. the Arhat. Okay. Like the Arhat. Okay, I see. Okay. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, that's <laughs> you know, which means Arhat means like uh, who, uh, the four destroyers, so the one who has destroyed the four. The four <laughs> here is an enemy, you know, so that's referring right. to the delusions, you know, like the, 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 you know, the, 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 the deluded 
obstructions and uh, the obstruction in knowledge. So those are the enemy or the foe. So whoever have destroyed that, that's called foe destroyer or arha. Any other questions? Okay. Any other question? Our hour. No. Good. Yes. It's not really a question, but a kind of an experience thing. Okay. So good. when we're talking about meditating on um, Buddha statues and trying to inform like simple meditation, like for me, it's it's hard to. It's like when I close my eyes and and, and imagine a or try to visualize a Buddha statue. It's kind of like me drawing on the sand. And if there's like, uh, if there's like, you know, voices or like, my, I don't know, if there's like distractions, then it's kind of like seawater going over the sand and it's like everything is gone. So like for me, sometimes, you know, when I'm doing this meditation by myself, it's like, it's better for me to just look straightly at a Buddha statue. Well, you can do that, yeah. And, and open your eyes and just, yeah, that is fine. And just focus on it. Yeah, you can do it with that, yeah. Yeah, you can do. You know, some people say when you close your eyes, you might get out concentration. So many things. Just, just look at that. That'll be fine. Okay. Yes. I just have a quick question because I wanted to try to understand Angela's question. That in, were you were you asking? Um, you, you know, when Geshe says we meditate on emptiness and we use an object, but since emptiness, you know, a direct realization of emptiness is non-conceptual, how do we? Were you talking about that? Yeah. yeah. Because uh, so I think, yeah, because it seems like uh, we understand the, uh, the true reality that you have to get a really connection, um, corruption of the, uh, all the concept, right? Because all the concept would be told or trained, maybe in this life or something carried forward. But actually, when we practice, right, we need a concept. Mm -hmm. So it's just a very, I don't know how to stress the question, but I'm still thinking. So that's why I'm saying that. I just want to share this a little bit like doubts and I still try to, to think about what is the relation because we, as you mentioned, like recognition, I understand that people, what kind of they like, bring from the past life, right? They are so familiar with some kind of concept. They still have some concept. So, um, but the emphasis is that you are kind of like get away from those concepts and make that intellectual. You know those kind of things, and so I try to understand what the relationship. You know, yeah, and where's the where's the original one that you know because it really depends on the whole tradition, right? So it can trace back and on this kind of things, and because it come, um, it's it's made of something, and everything is not truly totally existed, and then you can go back and forth, right? But a concept is something imported, you know, like we're educated, we receive from somebody. For example, mm -hmm. you try to. Because I say, we try to make a Buddha statue, whatever Buddha statue, and where is the concept? Everybody think about different image, right? Because we're from different place. So where those, so we try to transpect what is the origin of origination of those kind of concepts. Maybe this type of path, I don't know. So we try to get rid of the concept, right? Well, we, we need the concepts. I mean, we need the, I mean, that's, it's the means to the end, right? We couldn't, even as I understand what Geshe-la was saying, is even at the point of generating the, um, um, you know, having a, a, the, the, um, the union of common body and special insight, that, you know, that's, that's a very high level realization, but it's still conceptual. I mean, you need that and, until you get to where you have the direct non-conceptual realization. Yeah, so when you do the analyze, right, you need some concept or you get some like case study, you know, like you get some example that you try to analyze, right? Then, I know those are kind of like a tool to help us. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, of course, yeah. Without that, we cannot do anything. I know, so those are the means, it's like a through proof process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we try to get more. Hey, it's all, I mean, it's all analyzed because you can, like, for example, I'm, I'm, I'm doing like a math study, so sometimes we visualize something is really yeah, exactly. not easy to understand, you know, yeah. but you can go through the process. Where through the analyze, you, are, you can see the understand reality. You can really see. You can force you to analyze. First of all, we understand that, you know, what we call the special insight. Special insight. You also analyze. It's one mind, though. The, the same remote, 
Yeah, so the it's the conceptual mind you know, that's doing the analysis. Yeah, yeah this is important. Yeah, because you mentioned a very good example, like as long as you work out in the morning and you go out the outside, you see the signal, right? And you can tell, okay, this is what I see. But the second thoughts, right? Maybe it's always behind that. Yeah, just... Oh, okay, yeah, this is appear to me, but I understand that, right? Like yeah. That. yeah, so. Okay. Anyway, in short, again, you know, just to repeat what we talked about. Um, so, karma abiding and special insight. We've been talking for many months now, right, about this. So, karma abiding, you know, is a, again, it's a, it's a state of ecstasy or the pliancy, you know, which is achieved you know, through meditating on the object, you know, for a long time. So, when you're able to, when you meditate on that object and then, and uh, meditate, 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 and then after some time, you're able to focus on that without any difficulties, without any effort, and as long as you want. And then through that, you guys, you gain, you develop, or you experience this ecstasy you know, of uh, physical and mental bliss. So when you have achieved that, then that's the karma abiding. Then with the karma binding, you know, you, then you analyze, you know, not just you know, sit there, you know, without thinking anything, but just use that in the karma binding to think about the object, you know, to analyze about the object, you know, so you analyze, 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 and then after some time, then you know, through the analysis, now you're because you're able to focus, so you can analyze better. You know, you can analyze much more, much, much more efficiently. And then you, know, you come to the conclusion. Right? So then so you analyze, analyze, and then that turns into a meditation, which means like you come to the conclusion, you come to, oh yeah, just like this. And then you, you know, you, you use your karma binding mind, you know, to focus on that conclusion. And then that's the special insight. <laughs> And then, then, then after that, then only after that, then you can, you know, enter into Vajrayana path if you want to. That day, Kanishi was in there. And it's a total lama tiny, that Dembachi, and then one shoe, one shoe, and it come to the number of the Susu Miki, there was one year also good. And then, so, you know, this, is, this, will, this will come later you know, after, the, after that section, then comes the middle. So that's the common path. So when you have ten your mind in the common path, then 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 you can you know, enter into the bhajana. So how do you enter into the bhajana? It's by receiving initiation from a guru. So once you have when you have received the initiation, then you have vows and commitments to uh, and observe or keep. You know, so you have to protect those vows just like you protect your eyeball, eyeballs. You know? So then you know, uh, follow those uh, the vows and you know, the instructions you know, all, all the time, and that way then you will be able to. Generalization or without So it says, says like you know when you become a worthy vessel, you know, through the common path. So by by studying the all the common paths when you become a vessel, the, the worthy vessel, then you can you know, enter into the bhajana, bhajana path. So the common path, you know, it includes the whole thing, all the things from the beginning, like the good devotion, the proper proper memory birth, come law cause effect, and then and all the way, you know, to the calm binding and special insight. Yeah, yeah, of course, that you know includes the you know, like uh, the six perfection before that, right? So like uh, the renunciation, generating bodhicitta, and engaging all. Practices about the six professionals. That the young one that the the
so then um, you know <clears throat> so once you have you know, completed all the common paths and then you become worthy worthy investor to receive the uh, the initiation so engage in the practice of the tantra so how do you do that is by receiving initiation from a qualified master then you have to find a master who is qualified enough to grant you or to confer you the initiation and then you you know uh, uh, receive the the vows and, uh, and the commandments from the initiation and you keep them and protect those mouths and just like you protect your eyeballs. And after that, then you know you you easily uh, uh, be able to go to the you know, state of enlightenment or liberation. And so just to be sure saying that like, then you can it's like uh, driving uh, on a Tesla without a driver. So you can just sit there and it will drive by itself. So it is the it is the, that very realization of emptiness that you know transforms or generates name to the form of a deity, and then that you know, does all the things. So it's not like this like a regular you know, normal body and that's doing it. It is the that the deity which is generated from the state of emptiness. So that deity does all the work, all the practices. So it's like after having a good meal, then you you know eat the ice cream, then it looks more tasty. Otherwise, if you eat the ice cream without the meal, without a proper meal, then there's no no taste at all. Is it like that? It's always good. And so, so then, uh, so that's that's like that. You know, it's just it's, you know, so without the practice of the sutra, if you could try to get into the tantra practice, then that's how it is like that. So that's an example given, you know, like a child trying to ride a horse without what do you call that reins? Yeah, the rain, right? How do you, how do you, yeah. how do you Pronounce the rain. Rain, yeah. rain, like the rain. It's yeah. kind of the same. It's a, it's a similar, right? So I always get the rain. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's the rain. You know, so you know, if there's a benefit, maybe you know, you might get to the place quicker. But then there's also a big risk that you might fall. Mm -hmm. uh, so this that so tantric practice like that. You know, there's a benefit that you can get to the enlightenment very quickly. But if you don't observe the vows or protect the vows and remains properly, then you might fall into the law realm. So, so it depends on how uh, how well your practice of Tantra will be, depends on how well you have done the preparation, how well you have prepared yourself by doing the common practices. <laughs> So you know, like in the in, in general, you know, the Tibetan Buddhism is like almost almost like the Vajrayana Buddhism. It's a Vajrayana Buddhism because in all Tibetan Buddhism we practice the, we have the Vajrayana uh, practices, right? So we receive the initiation, we do all these uh, uh, practices, you know, like Guru Puja and everything like that. Those all requires that you know, tantric practice, right? So many people, it's, it's almost, almost like if you are Tibetan Buddhist, then you are Vajrayana practitioner. <laughs> it, it is assumed like you are Vajrayana practitioner. But then not every Tibetan Buddhist, Buddhist practitioner can have realization. That's because of not having you know, those uh, common paths you know, properly trained in the common paths. You know? So that's why. So um, of course, there are some you know, who have gained realization. Many, there are many who have gained realization, but in general, not many people. Right? So most of the people don't have that. That's because of not being able to <clears throat> not doing the practices well or not having had you know the preparations done well. So it's like somebody, you know, a family have bought a house and if they don't, you know, keep the house well. And it becomes very dirty, and then it can break down and all these things, right? But if you buy the house and then you, you know, keep it clean and on top of that decorate it you know, with many nice things, then it becomes a bit better. Right? It's just like that. Okay.
ሸለጣ ዶጂ ተባለው ተጣቱ ተነደው ወደ ተያናትል ማጅት ተባስፓት the path um just a question just the beginning part when um does it always have to be like come abiding then special inside is it possible to do special like some people might get special inside first then come abiding or it has to be the other There's, there's no way to achieve special insight with hard karma binding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. I was just going to ask, like, so when His Holiness gives a Kala Chakra initiation, somebody can ask him how he got the initiation. You can say, like, well, nobody or one person. Right. So even in the very beginning, he can tell who receives it. That's interesting. Can someone say that? Mm-hmm. Huh? What did he say? Can someone say that? 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 I mean, of course, his honest knows. He's a Buddha. He knows it. And, but has he ever told people? Like, yeah, I don't, I don't think somewhere he where he said he gave an initiation, but how many, you know, obviously they got the initiation, but how many really received it? He said hardly any. Uh-huh. I heard a variant of that. Yeah, uh, I heard a variant of that where he said, you know, like if a stadium full of people, he'll give it, but who really receives it, the number is small. So I heard a similar. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, well, his owners, of course, knows you know, who will receive it, who will receive it. Um, if he knows and nobody's going to receive it, then there's no point for him to give it. <laughs> I mean, they get a blessing. They get a blessing. Yeah, yeah. He knows that they're getting a benefit. It's not yeah, like yeah, they're like course, watching yeah. TV. They're getting a solid benefit. Yes. Who's really getting, you know, the whole, the whole initiation. Beginning yeah. and everything. Yeah. This small number. So it's a very small number. And, of course, you know, it depends on how, how well you can follow the the instruction. Mm-hmm. And so uh, during the initiation, the, the master would say, okay, now you visualize this, now you visualize this, now you visualize this. Then you have to be able to follow all that. Mm-hmm. Now you say, okay, you're entering into the mandala, and now you're going to this way, now going to this door, and now that door, and now this. So, you know, you have to, he, he will tell you that, and then you have to be able to follow all that. Mm-hmm. When you have done that, then you have received it. Then you will receive the initiation. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you will not. But then, of course, it was just like a blessing. Yeah, go on the car, ディフォーチュナルでなるさまりあれちゃんもらうみちゃうけどラーメンもねえんばなちくせきちくろうこのおさかなめでとめわちでじゃあそのねわなにちびさねてこうもだこんでそのだやれぺやでディフォーチュナ
And so there were really few number of people, and only there were just a handful of people who can take the initiation at that time. But the cultural initiation is like open to all public. Anybody can come. So anybody can come with this. And then if you are there, if you had the motivation, okay, I'm going to go and take a cultural initiation, and then you go there. And uh, you go in the in the gathering, and that's it. You know, even if you're not able to follow all the instructions, you can still receive it. So that's an exception for that. That's why you know, in, in in it was like that in Tibet, and it was same in, in India. You know, like when his son gives cultural initiation, there were like hundred thousand people, mm. over hundred thousand people. And, and then also he mentioned that even if you're not there, you know, people like in the Tibet, you know, they're not able to come to India, you know, when he's giving cultural initiation in India. They're not able to come there, right? And he said, okay, people in Tibet, you can just think that you are receiving it and you receive it. You don't have to be there. You're, you're, not, uh, you're not even hearing him. You're not even there. You're not even hearing him. But you just, in, in your mind, you think that you're, take, you're receiving, you're taking the initiation at the time when he's giving there. You just know the time when he's giving and the place where he's giving, but you are not there and you're not able to hear anything, any of his explanations. Hmm. <laughs> But for them, it's an exception because uh, you know it's, it's um, you know they can't you know come there. They, they have no uh, means to you know to be there at that time. So. But in our case, like I said, we are in somewhere in India, and then we say oh, okay, we can go there if we. You know, I think there's nothing preventing us. But and we say okay, we just. You know, do like the people in Tibet, then of course that's not. Right, that makes sense. Yeah, so, yes. like now, his son is giving, you know, the initiation on over the zone, so we take it from here. I don't know, you know, whether we receive it or not. <laughs> Before the Tangyama, he comes to the Nazai, he comes to the So, Zoom was available, right? His own has you know, started giving you know, the initiations and teachings over the Zoom. And of course, there were so many people uh, saying, you know, like, oh, this is not correct and all these things. But that was that was this you know, thing that can that prevent you from being there, right? You know, so like the COVID, COVID nineteen prevented you from being there. So just like you know, people in Tibet, their their situation prevented them from being being there. Therefore, they can receive it. But now, you know, you know, you say, okay, now you know you can't go there. Nothing's prevented you. You, know, you can go there. There's no, you know, no disease, no, uh, you know, uh, also uh, political you know, uh, restrictions and so forth. And you still don't go and then say, okay, I just received. I'm just going to take it over the Zoom. And I don't know if you receive it or not. So that same, you know, that goes same with every everybody, whether it's his owners or any, any other lama who's giving initiation or teaching over the Zoom. It's just I talk so many different things. Okay, yes. But wouldn't you say though, better to think that you have and then to maintain the commitments than to say, oh, maybe I didn't get it and I won't do it? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, oh, maybe you can see that. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but if you don't think I have received it, you cannot receive. You see, but even even though you are not able to, you know, follow all the instructions, but at the end you say, okay, I received. It. If you have that mind, then you know, then you can do the commitments, you know, yeah. and then you should do the commitments. You, know, you and otherwise you, you might be breaking it. Yeah. But if you haven't, you know, then, oh, I got distracted. I didn't. I didn't receive it well, so I don't think I've received it. Now then, you have not received it. Then you don't have to do the commitments. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. When you look at like the Bodhisattva vows, do those by necessity require you to take all five lay vows or no? The Bodhisattva vow? Yeah, with those super, like, I kind of read mixed things on. You don't have to have the lay vow to take the Bodhisattva vow. But you have to be Buddhist, right? You have to have a, 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 I mean, the refuge vow. You have to have the refuge vow, but you don't have to have a lay vow. Although there's no much difference from the lay vow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we do a little meditation, okay? First, come up, buddy, then, page inside, then, 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 then
So now you're going to meditate on Kama Biden, and then after that, move it, you know, shift it into to a special insight of analyzing, using that stable mind, you know, to analyze on the object, and then after the analysis, you know, come to the point, uh, you know, where you say, okay, this is how it is, and then you keep your mind on that. So that's a special insight, and then after that. And maybe think so now I have gone through this, you know, and then may I be able to enter into the Bajana, you know, uh, the, in the Bajana vehicle and you know achieve enlightenment quickly for the benefit of all sentient beings. Okay. Come on, my Okay. So right now we're doing the, we're just doing a study, right? We're not really doing the practice, we're just doing the study, but you know, in your mind, uh, pray uh, strongly to be able to engage in the practice just as we study. Okay. Okay. Next one more question. Okay. What is walking? Huh? What is walking? You said you asked us that question last week. And you so go ahead and think about it. Remember walking. Like when you talk about the three types of phenomena impermanent but phenomena. Oh, what? What is what? So in the walking, is there many and is there different parts in the walking? Like the walking itself, the action of the walking, or the walking itself? Walking and action of walking, is there a difference in that? Walking and the action of walking. Yeah. The same. The act of walking. Can you see that? Can you see the action of walking? Only on the basis of a person. Well, you can see the walking. I think so, yeah. You can see the walking, walking so you can see the action of walking. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That's all the tongues. So the horse, you know, the horse. Do you see the horse with your eyes? Horse. <laughs> yeah, you see the horse, right? Yeah, you see. You see, you see Jen. That's just like yeah. you see Jen. You see a horse. Yeah. Oh, you see the horse. Uh, you, 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 you you ride the horse, right? You yeah. can ride a horse. Mm -hmm. You can ride, so you can see the horse, right? If you don't see it, how you can ride it, right? Right, right. <laughs> yeah. So the eye, the, eye, the eye consciousness, right? You see it with the eye consciousness. So the horse, you know, is uh, uh, the object of the eye consciousness, right? 
is the object apprehended by our higher consciousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is true. So the horse is a form, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Horse is not a person. <laughs> not a being. Horse is not a being. No, it's in terms of this conversation. Horse is a being, right? Horse in person. terms of this conversation, a horse is a person. So yeah, so if it's a person, then it cannot be formed, right? It cannot be formed, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, very good. So it's an nice association nice compositional nice. factor. Okay. So just like you see the person, right? But person is not a form. But if you see it, it has to be form. Because the the the, the definition of the form is that which is apprehended by your eye consciousness. Mm -hmm. The object that's apprehended by your eye consciousness is a form. It's a visible form. Or, and what do you call that yeah. in other the, the 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 object that is apprehended by your ear consciousness is a audible sound or, or, or factory form. Right? <laughs> or, or, yeah, audible yeah. form. Right? And, you know the the, the the object that is you know yeah apprehended by your nose consciousness is. Okay. It's a form. A horse is a form. No, but the question was, what is walking? But oh, oh, oh. the horse is a being, though. It's a being, right? So, yeah. It's not a matter. Is it matter? Part of it is. No, the horse is a matter? It's composed. Are you a matter? matter? <laughs> of course. You are really? Yeah. There's phosphorus in my bones. There's, yeah. Your bone is you? That's right. so your bone is you. No, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that is, then what part of you that is matter that's you? Yeah, exactly. What part of you that is a matter that's you? So there's no part, right? <laughs> think, think that, okay, think. Therefore, walking... So analyze on that, you might get a special insight on that. <laughs> so, so <laughs> walking is, is not good. form, and it's not consciousness, so that means it's a non-associated compositional factor, so, which yeah. then... Non -associated but, 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 but then you've got the division of the a person or a non-person. And... Right in the in the in the non-assisted in the non-assisted non right. so yeah. walking. Yeah. 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 You know, right. so we talked earlier here. We talked about the right. year, month, right? right. Time, yeah. Time. Now we have the walking. Okay. So, add the walking, the non-assisted composition factor. But, it, but there's a there's a list of twenty three um, non-person, non-associated compositional factors, and I didn't see any. I couldn't figure yeah. out like how walking fits okay. in. Okay, what 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 fit that? Yes. What about time and impermanence? Those are two of the twenty three. Continuity. There's a cause and effect because actually there's always cause and effect. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. What, 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 what are what are all of them? Yeah. I have to tell me I have to look it up, but I mean there's there's um, no, what, what that? 50, uh, 23? Yeah. Yeah. Um, acquisition, absorption, absorption of cessation, one having no discrimination. Okay, that's good. Yeah, but there's no walking. <laughs> no, no, but, but like impermanence. Time is yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Continuity is part of the yeah. maybe this is a one way I don't remember the one way that count. It'd be yeah. different over count. Well the walking is not I don't remember the count that we're thinking. Yeah. Well, then we can then the state of living is part of the yeah. Yeah. yeah, and birth and aging and uh -huh. good, 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 good. time is definitely part of the walking. Yeah. Okay. But now mark what you find. You need to find one of the you a matter. Matter or matter? Matter. Matter. Okay. Well, there is one. Yeah. <laughs> you had you? You had you? You body you? you? Inside your lung you? The the heart you? Stomach you? The what? It's bones you? But I manifest as matter. You see me as matter. matter. You know what I mean? I can see you. I can see your body. This I can see you. 
But basically, I don't really see you. You see me? I think so. <laughs> so usually the exact, you know, the correct thing would be say, I see your body, I don't see you. I can't okay. see you. Right. Yeah, I don't see your essence. But you are there. It's just that I don't see you. <laughs> well, that's like saying I see a chariot, which is true, but it's like is the wheel a chariot? Well, yeah, no. It's, exactly. But it's, so yeah, you see the aggregates that yeah. manifest physically and you label the concept of me onto the aggregate. Exactly. Yeah. This is a very comical and you should tell me. Can we teach that? Can we talk about this? It's very comical and just really. It's also very good to you, you're very sharp. In just a moment, you've been thinking of hundred different things. It's very comical. Sometimes you say, I eat food, but I don't see. <laughs> because food is for the color. Color is changing. You know, we should say, <laughs> so of course you can talk about the food. The food is uh, the object of the tongue. It's, it's not the food, you know. The taste of the food is the tongue, object of the tongue. Object of the tongue consciousness, but it's not really the food itself. Then you can yeah, you can go into a detail like that. But usually say the food is tasted by you know the uh, tongue, right? It's not Cannot be tasted by your eye. Mm -hmm. I cannot taste the food. I can only see the food. So it's the okay, tongue. This is true. This is true. Come on, say, who's first, egg or chicken? <laughs> who's first? You can't answer that. <laughs> the, question, the question's a bad question. It's not the, the the question can't be answered because of the way it's structured. No, you can ask any it's question. It's not an either or. <laughs> it's not an either or. It's a false. It's a false no. selection. It's egg. It's a. Uh, Egg the bugger away. Egg is which came which came first, egg or chicken? Neither. Neither. Somebody has to help. Somebody has to come. They come the together. Essence of the, the essence of the chicken exists within the mm -hmm. manifestation of an egg. The essence of an egg exists within the manifestation of a chicken. So the way the question structured, I would say, is a faulty question. <laughs> is, that, is that good? I don't know. Because go. これで、とはで、たたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたた
I can say no problem. You should say saying chicken is not, and the chicken is not uh, ex-mother. Do anything? Chicken, do anything? Yeah, anything? No. Nobody wants to do it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm up for it, but I don't know. Come on, Jen. Come on, Jen. <laughs> Chicken is not chips, man. Okay, sure. Egg. If, the, if the egg is not fertilized, then there's no the chicken is not a mother. If there's yes. if the egg is not fertilized and there's no baby, then it doesn't egg, make egg, it egg. a mo mother. The Kuranga Amati chicken at your chicken at your mice. Kuranga Amat Chirvi, chicken at your chicken at your mice. Chicken the Kuranga Puja egg the Amai, egg ama mice. It depends on which egg, whether or not the mother. I feel like that way, yeah. Yeah, depends on which egg. Yeah, depends on, yeah. More like Dr. Chasmo. What do you mean by depends on which egg? Because Geshe said the chicken is not the mother of the egg. Um, the chicken could be the, the child of the egg, right? If it came, or like the chicken came from the no, egg. No, no, no. So it depends on the egg, right? Which egg you're talking about. Because the chicken came from an egg. <laughs> no, is saying um, chicken you know, is a mother of a egg, which was born from that chicken. Let's say it that way. Okay, well, with that, that qualification. It, then yeah, so oh, chicken so is not a mother of an egg, but chicken is a mother of an egg. You know, which the chicken, which the mother, which sure. <laughs> the mother of egg, which which was produced by the right. chicken. I see. <laughs> okay, that's not important. It's just yeah. to do a little more comfortable to to <laughs> think it is okay. Okay, now we stop. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Please turn to page thirty nine for the Thanksgiving monument offer. Okay, what are we gonna do? Yeah. You know how to do it, You can do it. <laughs> Whatever the direction, the most precious teachings have not yet spread, 
or one spread of every kind, there to be the treasure of happiness and aid. May the minds of those who wish for liberation be granted by this peace, and the Buddha's deeds be nourished for a long time. By the administrative course of enlightenment completed due to the wondrous, virtuous conduct of the Buddhists and their children, may all human and non human beings who are limited in adversity and make things conducive for practicing the excellent paths never be parted in any of their lives from the purest path praised by the Buddhists. Whenever someone makes an effort to act in accordance with the tenfold Mahayana virtuous practices, may they always be assisted by the mighty ones, and may oceans of prosperity spread everywhere. Good night. Good night, Gessler. Good night.